Good day everyone, Sebastian Keynes here with another Watcher of Realms video. So today I'm going to be summoning in my Forerunners account. This is what I consider to be my free to play account to try to get a sense of how people are progressing. I am in about 117 days. There was a period there where I had not logged in for a while because I was in the public servers uh, getting that account set up but i am uh i am i have put in some time on this one and i did come back to it primarily for the guild versus guild just to get myself familiarized with that but also to uh keep a um, keep abreast of how here what heroes are being introduced into the game and see if we can uh, have an opportunity to summon them and test them out so so to give you an idea as you know in the in the forerunner servers we do have heroes that have not been introduced in the public servers yet and last weekend there was there was a 10x for two heroes that were added to the game and i did summon on the banner trying to get uh, at least one of them because i was on pity and you know if you're close to pity you might as well summon on the 10x but one of them was trusk um, he is uh, a defender. He's one of the few defenders that can actually extend beyond the one tile in front of him. And when you activate his ultimate, he will actually drag any unblocked enemy towards him. And then he'll do his damage. He'll do his roll. And he's another defender that's damage is based off defense. And he actually gives himself defense up, which is uh, stacks permanently. And, you know, um, you probably hear more about him in the future. And we'll see what type of things he can do, especially those that are in the Forerunners account. And then just to give you an idea, they also introduce a mage that has freeze mechanics and actually enhance uh, the properties of any uh any heroes that apply freeze uh with him so he has a chance to 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 apply that freeze and i said that this here when allies inflict frozen on enemies they deals additional massive damage so he, he pretty much uh does have synergy with most of the um freeze uh, champions that are in the game which include broker and mary etc so very good uh and I, I think that's about it so in the forerunners account i essentially just looking to add any heroes that will help progression right now we're trying to push uh gr3 and trying to get into the 19 stages there uh 18 and 19 uh, because uh, by the time i clear 18 i was lucky enough to I summon Alora in this in this in this account in the in the Forerunner servers, and the reason that she's so good in GR3 is because she's always invisible unless she uses her ultimate. So you can put her on the right hand side, you give her enough damage, she can take care of those waves there, no problem. And you just focus on the left hand side, so she makes GR3 19 to 21 really easily so as a free to play just trying to get the best gear that i can save as much of the energy as i can and then try to get as much uh, gear as, as possible as you can see for 110 days and not buying any 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 crystals here i have summoned a great amount of legendaries and you know so the game is really friendly when it comes to the regard Toriel, I already have her at 5. Breen, I already have Awaken at 5. Wrath is already at 5. I have my Maul at 3. So by 3 months in, I can kind of conceivably see what a free-to-play player in the, front, in, the, in, the, in the public servers can manage to do. Uh, I have been unlucky though. I have pulled Crutch uh, a couple of times in, in the server. I do have the Shamir here. We do have a Comet and uh, two Lassiers that I have summoned. So GR1 has been really taken care of. I think that for me, I was really lucky to get Vierna early on. She helped immensely with progression. And I also have a good set of fighters here, including Abomination. Eris, Na, and Falsia, I don't but not, uh, they have not been introduced in the public server, but you will see them soon, okay? Uh, I would imagine they use it. Fossil was an exclusive banner, so I'm wondering when they're going to bring her back again because I haven't seen any other events where you can summon her 
So it'll be interesting in that regard. Eris, you can get him from the banner, and Ma, you can get him from the the, the regular banner. Another um, healer that you may not have seen is Eileen. She is, um, I'm curious if they're gonna bring her to the public servers um, ver uh, fairly soon, because they had a silhouette competition for everybody and she was one of the silhouettes and she hasn't been put in the public service so i'm wondering if she's going to be coming in pretty um, pretty soon into the public service so um not to prolong this anymore i do have three engines we can summon those and see if we can get anything if at all possible just give me at least an epic that uh, lord that i don't have i would love to add a lunaria or a, or a pyrus to the account and then i did kind of grind a little bit to get 40 summons here for this so let's um let us begin and see what we can get so let's start with the engines okay so we got a rare and dogma let's summon again Holy crap. I... Wow. I just summoned the Lord from the Northern and Faz has an oh my god the synergy is going to be amazing wow i am speechless we hit a lord in two ancient crystals and this account was not even close to pity wow Wow. Okay, so everything that I know about him is that he is a fighter. He does do some damage. But one of the things about him that is unique to all the other fighters in the game is that he gives himself a shield every time he does the damage. So you can... He, he becomes a little bit hard, harder to kill. And so... So you see here how he's doing the he's damaging the enemy and then he puts that shield on himself he increases his attack his max H, max hp when you activate his ultimate and um and he gives himself that shield and wow F for a free-to-play account this is amazing when taking damage, he gains a shield equal to 40% max HP and increases damage by 20%, lasting for 10 seconds. That's his passive. To me, to me, it's almost like a must build. Oh, I mean, I have to try him out because I have the other Northerners and uh, Fazia to go along with it. That's wow, 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 wow. I wasn't expecting this, folks. I wasn't expecting, I was hoping for maybe an epic, that would have been phenomenal, but that was a great pull. Okay, so we got a Nero, and that was three. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Well, let's see what the, the rare crystals are here. Uh, we only got 40, so we'll, we'll um, I'm actually saving my diamonds, because I do need to farm gold and farm experience and all this other stuff, so that comes in handy. We're probably going to get some more uh, uh, diamonds from this, but we'll, we'll see how we are at the end. Right now, I'm only anticipating 40, possibly we'll do 50, so we'll see where it goes. But let's do a 10 pop to begin with and, and see where we are. Like I said, I'm nowhere closer to pity because I did summon the 10x last weekend. So this is all um, on fresh pity for this account. So we'll do, let's do another 10 see if we can get lucky again okay we're gonna get some blues which is fine all right let's collect these and now let's do
we get a epic okay so good epic no not anyway. he has been he has been um he has been reworked here in the forerunner servers i just don't know whether the rework was successful or how good he is but he's an epic that we already have so we really want new ones and if it's of the good ones too Okay. Longley, come on. And this is going to be a rare. The blood of a thousand generations runs in my veins. The yeah. Okay, come on. I know you you can be good to me. I know you want to. I know you want to give. Go on. All right, this is fine. This is fine gonna do a couple more singles and then we'll do the final 10 pop and see if we can add some epics or something to this okay so the singles didn't bring us any luck so we'll do one last 10 and see if we can get at least one great epic and we got an epic which turns into a legendary so we did 10 sacrifices and we got a 10 and we get another Eileen. Well, at least it's an awakening. But we got another dupe. All the, all the legendaries that I'm missing and I get another dupe. Oh, well, it's not bad. It's not bad. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We know what we got. All right. Let me check on diamonds and see if we can do another 10. Okay, we are back, folks. So what I did is I went and checked the leaderboards to see how many of the fragments I had for the Eon Fusion. And um, I got most of them except for the Spiritual Altar, I think. There's still some that I need to go get if possible. And uh, if I cannot uh, get those, it won't be a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon these two crystals here that I have. And I'm going to do one more 10 pop and see if we can get enough points to get those fragments. And then maybe during the weekend, something else comes up or, um, you know, the guild bus is generous. We can get maybe, maybe one divine since I'm already hitting an M3. And then um, we, we get those fragments, right? To at least get one copy of Eon in the account. All right. So we'll do one more 10 pop and we'll close out that video here. Okay, so at least we got an epic. Let's just hope it's good. This is a Dallin. This is a Dallin. Only a Dallin. Okay, so it's only a Dallin. I'm I'm gonna be okay with that, and then we'll just um, we'll we'll review later on. So yes, yeah, so we got another um, another Eileen. Uh, I don't re I don't remember her first awakening. Increases the healing multiplier on targets with HP below. 30% by 30%. Okay. So we just get more healing when our heroes are low. And I do get a, a five star psychic power for the Lord. So that's that's good. So that's where that first one went. But this was the big get here. This is an amazing pull. Phenomenal. Very, very, very lucky for an F2P account to, to get a, a Lord of this magnitude. Um, I am, I am, um, looking forward to, to testing him out. And like I said, I have Falsia and that's why it's so, um, it was such a big pull because it, it will give her that extra boost, especially in damage, um, that can come from her. And that was one of the things, uh, in an account like this, that if you really want her to pop, she needed the Lord and we got, him. so, um, that's that's where i'm gonna leave it folks so that is my forerunners account um i hope to bring you more content later on regarding it but that's where we are with it and um hopefully you like this video if you did hit hit the like button and subscribe help uh help me grow the channel a little bit so we will leave you here with um 
the animation and i will see you all next time on another watch Realms video